Imagine a president of the United States taking the military. He encircles New York City. He terrorizes the population. That's what Milosevic did to Sarajevo. You can see on a hill a sniper shooting now. The Yugoslav army is supposed to protect you. All of a sudden, your protector becomes a monster. Journalists were purposefully targeted. It was ready made for trouble. It was a very bright shining light, Sarajevo. And they needed to kill that light. Without electricity, running water, the urge for art amplified. We had this wonderful scene, having a disco in the middle of the war. It's the only thing that kept us going. You two, they represent the personification of our resistance. I thought they were a force of good. I went to Syria, was trying to find my way into an aid organization. I thought if I could get Bono, talk to him about these people, maybe we could have a conversation. You there, Bill? Yeah, I hear you, Bono. I want to say thanks to all you people. We don't feel alone. Poets, writers, filmmakers, musicians can inspire people to find the strength and courage to resist. If somebody tells you, you got five minutes, what would you do? You do what you like the most. Somebody said, courage is grace under pressure. That's a good definition of the people of Sarajevo. The past, kiss the future. Viva Sarajevo!